My name is Riku Umihara, and I'm a salary man working for a trading company. Recently, my boss asked me to look after a guy named Nonomura, who joined the company as a mid-career hire. This guy was so annoying. How old are you, Umihara-san? I'm 28. What? You don't look it. I thought you were younger than me. Wait, aren't you 26 or something? Do I look that young? Oh, well... I just thought you had cheap-looking suit for someone in a trading company. Is that so? I don't think I'm wearing such a cheap suit, but... No, it doesn't matter what the real price is. If you wear a suit with good taste, it looks more expensive than it really is. I'm just saying that you don't seem to have a very good eye for good things, which made me think you were younger than me. <laughs> no, Namara, can you get to work soon? This is a workplace. I'm a senior. He's a newcomer. There's no getting upset. Calm down. Monomaraku! I told you to ask Umiharakun anything you don't understand. It's natural for you to have questions since you just joined us. Huh. I have high expectations for you. So please absorb Umihara's good points as much as you can and learn the job quickly. Huh. If you understand, go talk to Umihara right now. Okay? Huh. Excuse me, Umihara-san. What's wrong? It says on your face that you don't want to ask for advice from me. Um, are you all right? What? What is all right? The boss talks about you every time something happens. Aren't you loved a little too much? What? Or are you doing something behind the scenes to get him to like you? Are you two in love with each other or something? Of course not. What? You're getting desperate, aren't you? I'm scared. <laughs> no, Nomura, didn't you come to ask me some questions about work? Oh, I'll ask someone else about that. Damn it. You're a genius when it comes to getting on people's nerves. No, Nomura has a big ego and doesn't seem to be amused by me who is relied upon by the department. He makes fun of me and doesn't want to be looked after by me and he goes to other people for advice. Usually, he goes to a beautiful female employee. Senior, can you tell me how to calculate this? This? Didn't Umihara-san teach you? I'm not a fan of Umihara-san's teaching style. Your way is much easier to understand, so... Is that so? Then come here, I'll teach you. Yes! No, Nomura, a handsome, likable guy, drew closer and closer to his female employees. But one day, No, Nomura started to rely on Miki Fukuchi all the time. I was not at ease because Miki and I were dating. Fukuchi-san, excuse me, can you teach me this part? Uh, yeah, sure. That guy stopped asking me completely. Does he know she's my girlfriend? Is he trying to harass me? Why is Minky spitting with him, too? Um, Umihara-san. Huh? Oh, what is it? Can you stop giving me and Fukuchi-san scary looks? I don't care if you and Fukuchi-san are dating or not. I'm just doing my job. Can you please not get personal? Nonomura's antics were making me so angry that my stress level was nearing its limit. And then a big incident happened that put the final nail in the coffin. Miki and I went out on a date for the first time in a while on our day off, and for some reason, Nonomura was there when I met up with her. Sorry, I fell in love with Nonomura-san. He's funny, and he's kind. I want you to break up with me. What? Well, it just kind of happened that way. And we turned out to be much better match than I expected. Wait, what do you mean? You two are already together? I guess so. I'm sorry. I guess I'm the better man. I guess I'm superior to Umihara-san. I'm sorry. Nonomura relied on me a lot, and I developed special feelings for him as time went on. I'm really sorry. I see. Okay. I wondered if Nonomura had actually fallen in love with Miki, but I felt like he wanted to feel like he beat me by taking Miki away from me. 
but I didn't feel like stopping Miki since I no longer had feelings for her. All this happened within a month of Nomonomura's arrival. It's been over a month since Nomonomura Kuro came in, but how is his work going? He's efficient, and it's not like he can't do his job. He seems to act without much thought sometimes, which is a bit dangerous. He doesn't consult with others, so he tends to do things on his own. I see. I also think he works quickly. But I was concerned because he makes a lot of mistakes. So he's a bit reckless, huh? He seems to rely on female employees, but I don't see any growth in his work performance. It seems like he just goes to them for advice because he wants to be liked. That's an unusually harsh assessment for you, Umihara. Did something happen with Nonomura? Uh, no. By the way, I have one more thing to tell you. I've been trying to find a suitable candidate for an overseas posting, but I can't find anyone. Would you still be against it? I'll go. What? Are you sure? Yes. I've been thinking recently that I'd like to work in a different environment. Is that so? I'm glad you're taking it on. It's also a great opportunity for you to move up on the ladder. But I thought you were turning it down all along because you were worried about your girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Ah, uh, we broke up. That's one of the reasons I'm over it. The two-year overseas assignment that I had been offered for a long time. I kept turning it down because I was worried about leaving Miki alone because she had gotten sick a few years ago from working too hard. And I never told Miki about the overseas assignment. But Miki doesn't matter anymore. And that's why I decided to go abroad. Then the U.S. branch office where I was to be posted was overjoyed. And the date of my departure was set immediately. I had to make preparations for my departure in a hurry, so I even turned down the farewell party and flew out of Japan. No, no more. He must have thought I ran away conceding defeat. He looked rather happy. Miki seemed really surprised that I was going overseas. Well, she has no Nomura, so I guess she'll be fine. I hope they enjoy their happiness while I'm not in Japan. And so, two months went by in the US as I was working energetically. First and foremost, the stress was minus 50 million, and my quality of life went up because I didn't have to see no Nomura. Even in the US office, there are some jerks who make fun of me, but they're nothing compared to Nonomura. In fact, I was invincible having been trained by Nonomura. Miki called again. She's been calling a lot lately. Ex-girlfriend? Judy, how do you know that term in Japanese? I dream of going to Japan someday, so I study a lot of manga and anime. So, that's your ex-girlfriend? We're in a relationship now, so you should probably tell me about it, right? You know what they say, better to be seen than hide. Don't use things I don't know. I met a wonderful woman named Judy at the American office, and we were dating. Which is why I kept ignoring Miki's frequent calls to check in on me. Judy gets jealous easily, so it made me want to pick up on her calls even less. Two years passed since I was posted overseas, which I spent with great pleasure. And then, when I came back to Japan... It's been a while, Umihara-kun! You look a bit bigger than before! What, did I get fat? I mean, you look like you've grown in the last two years! You should be getting a promotion soon! That guy, on the other hand... Huh? What happened? I was surprised when I went to the department. Notomura, who used to be cocky and energetic, was working quietly by the window. And there was no trace of the man he was two years ago. What's wrong with Nonomura? He doesn't seem to be in good spirits. Oh, Nonomura? He doesn't listen to other people when working, so he makes a lot of terrible mistakes. He also has a big ego, which got him into a fight with one of the clients. What? He's a complete liability to the department. I don't understand why they still keep him here. Um, Riku. Can I talk to you? Welcome back. Um, why didn't you answer any of my calls at all? Because I didn't think I had anything to say to you. Please, Riku, help me! What? Nonomura makes a lot of mistakes, and everyone in the department hates him, and even started making fun of me for dating him. They say I'm a stupid woman who dumped Riku just to get with Nonomura. After I left you, I realized that you're the only one for me. Please, forgive me. Let's start over again. Is that why you were trying to reach me? 
I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm already married. I got married last year to someone I met at the company over there. The company arranged for my wife to be transferred to Japan, so she's coming to the office from tomorrow. Look forward to working with her as a fellow employee. What? No way! Riku, you liked me that much, and now you're in love with someone else? Don't tell me that coming from someone who fell in love with another guy while we were dating. And the next day, Judy started coming to the company. And she quickly became popular with her eye-catching, gorgeous looks and her fluent Japanese. Shuri-san, how envious to have such a beautiful woman as a wife. I'll get her. Don't worry. I'm a better man than Umihara. I could steal her again. Hey, Judy. How's Japan? Must be a big change for you, right? I can show you the best spots around here if you like. I can help you with any worries you might have that you don't feel comfortable talking to your husband about. <laughs> if I seemed like a lightweight woman who would fall for such a cheap pickup, I'm sorry to hear that. Get away from me, you jerk! Riku! Hmm? What is it? Where is your ex-girlfriend? I thought I would greet her and show her my presence. Judy, you speak very good Japanese, but be careful because you tend to use very aggressive Japanese sometimes. You'll surprise us all. Oh, I'll be careful. And your ex-girlfriend? My ex? I don't think she needs to be in check anymore, so just let her be. She saw your good looks and knew she didn't stand a chance, so she looks completely demoralized. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, I have a polished, expensive body, of course. You could call that a dynamite body. The Japan I came back to again was so peaceful that I couldn't believe the hardships I had to go through two years ago. I got a promotion after after I came back and a wife I'm proud of. I'm a happy man. I hear that Japanese is very difficult for people from overseas. The fact that she's fluent in Japanese, but calls her dynamite body an explosive body is really cute. How did you guys enjoy today's video? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.